This man gets rejected because he's arrogant. He's back. <laughs> Ooh. All right. If we can have your name. That was so fast. What's your name, sir? Hi, my name is Dr. Elam. <laughs> so we did get a couple of pot balloons here. Let's go over to some of these ladies and see what's going on. Please, let's. let's. <laughs> your name and age. I'm Jador. I'm 31. And Jador, why did you end up popping your balloon? Dr. Elam, it's such a tragedy because you are so handsome. I feel like you are extremely arrogant and I feel like you're probably going to have a hard time because you seem like the type, like a know-it-all type of guy. And sometimes you have to be careful with that because even when you know it all, you don't know everything. You know, but just having a humble attitude, you know what I mean? You would probably go a lot further. And I say that with all the respect in the world. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's Thank your you. dentist? <laughs> Who is my dentist? Not you, sweetheart. And I'm just going to leave it right there. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm not your dentist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Nova. I'm 30. Um, yeah, it was uh, just the arrogance for me. I, I love a man that's very confident. Like you, I'm gonna toot your horn every time I get, every chance I get, but um, I think you toot your own horn. So I don't think I will be able to <laughs> accommodate that every day. I like, my space and I like quiet I like I feel like every day will be something um not negative but just the energy would just be very high for me it sounds like self-love is something that's challenging for you self-love oh no baby I'm sorry because uh, if you loved yourself then you wouldn't have any problem loving me oh I I love myself a lot and I I want to be able to love someone uh, as much as I love myself but I feel like you love yourself so much that there wouldn't be any room for me to love love you <laughs> that sounded good but it also didn't make very much sense That's because fine. love isn't a container love uh, is something that you are so I yeah. love myself I've worked on myself and uh -huh. I understand the tools that it takes to practice self-love okay and so space and time isn't really an objective field that you need to use as a barometer to see if it's possible if we can love each other what it's either you love yourself and you can share that or you're uncomfortable with it. And so I feel that you're also uncomfortable with me loving myself as much as no, I no, do. And it's I'm coming off as arrogance. Yeah, you, you do. Um, so my confidence is triggering you because no, it's no, reminding you. I love confidence. It's not about you not having self-love. It's about you not appreciating the self-love in other people. And that is a direct reflection of how you see yourself. It's, the term is called projection. When mm -hmm. you see me shining, it reminds you that you're not shining enough. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, so when I said that I melt in confidence, that kind of went over your head? Oh. Melting in confidence is Self-love, confidence, all that in my man is very important to me because I don't want to date a man that does not love himself because then he won't love me as much. The level of love will be different. Look, I'm really trying to follow you. I know, right? I know, but it's okay. But you your need... ego won't allow you to take responsibility for your lack, and my that's lack? okay. But I don't lack anything, babe. Pop y'all's balloon before you even got to know Dr. Elon. What a shame. What a shame. Is it though?